You do that, and I'll talk to our next guest, Todd Campbell, the general manager of the Forest Dunes Golf Club uh, up in Michigan. Forest Dunes is on the list. It's in the top 10 public golf courses in the country, according to Matt Janella from the Golf Channel. It's number nine. It's a Tom Weisskopf design, and I've never heard of it. Uh, so uh, we got to learn something about that. Uh, Todd, welcome to the program. Thanks for coming on the show with us. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. It's my pleasure. We uh, we do need to educate you a little bit here. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it's, I'm okay if, if you guys have been ranked like 80th. I'm okay not knowing the 80th course, you know, 80th best public course in the country, or even the 40th best public course in the country. But if you're number nine, I need to know something. So first of all, where? How, how do you say the city that you guys are located in? It's Roscommon, Michigan. Roscommon. All right, so you're in Roscommon, Michigan. Where in Michigan is Roscommon? Um, it's in the Lower Peninsula. It's in the center of the state, uh, east to west, and it's about uh, three hours north of uh, Metro Detroit. Okay. Real easy access. Uh, if you know Michigan at all, I-75 is the main interstate that kind of takes you from the south to the north, and we're 15 minutes off I-75. Gotcha. I'm on I-75 myself. Perfect. <laughs> Love I-75. Know, know a lot of it, but I haven't been that far north. And I actually thought it ended in Detroit, so it just keeps going then. It keeps going. It goes all up to Canada. Does it keep going through Canada? It's not called I-75 in Canada, uh, is it? I think up in, uh, I think in Sioux, Michigan, is when you cross into uh, Sioux St. Marie, Canada, I, I, I believe that's where it stops. Yeah, then they just call it some other thing. Then they do. Some, something probably ends in an A, eh? <laughs> Ah, I like that. That was good. It's called Route 75A. <laughs> Todd Campbell, our guest. Uh, we don't know if that's actually right, but it should be. Uh, he's the general manager of Forest Dunes Golf Club. So it's a Tom Weisskopf design. Uh, we just played a Tom Weisskopf on uh, on, PG on the PGA Tour at Phoenix. A lot of people yeah. don't know TPC Scottsdale's a Tom Weisskopf. Tell us about the facility. You know, Mr. Weisskopf did a, did a wonderful job. He's been quoted saying it's one of his top three courses in the, in the States. Um, we're, when you get up here in northern Michigan, there's a lot of, of national uh, forest land, and we're right dead smack in the national Huron Forest. So, you know, when you get, get to Ross Common, it's beautiful. When you get to Forest Dunes, you know, very little development. Uh, the silence around the facility is just deafening. The course itself, Forest Dunes is the absolute perfect name. Uh, the front nines through, you know, heavy pines, maples, oaks, lots of hardwoods, uh, a great, you know, stroll through a park almost setting. And then when you get along to the back nine, um, that's where the, the natural dunes, a uh, little bit more aggressive look from, you know, to your eye. Um, he, Tom did a great job taking what, uh, what Mother Nature gave him and in, in, uh, developing it into a, a world-class golf course. Oh, I, I I like the looks of it. I see a big body of water there. Tell us about uh, the rest of the property. If we're, if we're going to bring the family up there, what is there to do besides golf? You know, we're not a resort, Brian. Um, what we do best is golf. Uh, Northern Michigan has a tremendous amount of unbelievable resorts. And uh, what we've decided to kind of hang our hat on is, is we have a 28,000-square-foot clubhouse, a great restaurant, a great grill, a uh, beautiful patio setting. Um, we're building a brand new lodge, so we can we can become more of a destination. Uh, we have we have homes that people can rent. We have a 28 acre man made lake that's got some uh, wonderful fishing opportunities in it on our property. Lots of hiking and biking trails um, for the fly fishermen out there. We're about five miles from the uh, Asabo River, and that's that's a world known trout fishery. Ernest Hemingway spent a lot of time on the Asabo River. Um, so there's, there's a lot to do, but if you just want to get away and have some fine golf and fine dining and uh, get back to Mother Nature and relax, there's no better place to do it than uh, Forest Dunes Golf Club. We're speaking to Todd Campbell, general manager at Forest Dunes Golf Club in Roscommon, Michigan, number nine on the list of top 40 public golf courses in the country was that is that the first time you've been ranked this highly on one of these lists i'm sure you're, you're very well ranked in the state of michigan but uh is this the first time you've gotten this kind of national attention you know we've always been uh, top 100 golf course overall we've been in the top 25 for public golf courses by you know by the the three big publications but 
with Matt's rating coming out and cracking the top ten, it is. It's. Uh, I tell you what, I don't think my feet have touched the ground, and and the only thing that's kept my feet on the ground the last week has been by the number of phone calls we've been receiving. No, oh, that's that's nice. Well, you've been busy. We've been certainly busy. now. Now you're a public golf course, but there is uh, there's membership available as well. Tell us about that. There is. Um, there's a new owner that took over the golf course. He purchased it in October 2011. And one of the reasons you hadn't heard of, of Forest Dunes was when it was opened in 2012, the original owners wanted to make it a very exclusive private country club. And that concept's been around in northern Michigan for quite some time. And, and like a lot of other facilities, it just didn't, it just didn't take off. So Mr. Thompson purchased uh, the property uh, the day after it closed, actually, in 2010, closed for the season. And then I came on uh, winter of, of 2011, and we made the decision that we were going to uh, be a 100% public golf course, but would still honor the, the few members that we have. So we have about 80 members. Um, they can uh, be a seasonal member, you know, year to year, or they can own a piece of property and become a resident member. And uh, it's worked out real well. It's been a it's been a good mix of having members from all over the country that just love you know great golf as well as now being open to the public where people from all over the country can can come to northern Michigan and enjoy our facility as well. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of folks, you're right, throughout the entire country going with that model. I'm looking at your lodging, and, and I think it's really cool that you've got, you've got a spot, but you don't have room for a whole lot of people. So, you know, I'm thinking about this from the perspective of a listener's trip, and with, with 16 rooms, you can't bring a whole lot of people, but if, if you, bring, you bring the folks, everybody's together. It is. You know, one thing that, that uh, if you dig through the website a little bit deeper, you'll find we have, we have six beautiful homes, and they're anywhere from two-bedroom to four-bedroom homes, and we've, we've had those since day one. So we've always had a availability that we can accommodate in those homes about, you know, say 30, 35 people. But with the popularity and with the strong season we had last year, the, the owner, we, you know, he and I decided let's put a lodge in. Let's, let's make it a real nice quaint setting it's it's right behind the first tee it overlooks lake asabo which is which is the lake um it has 16 rooms 14 of those are on the first floor which either have one king bed or double double queens in the rooms and then upstairs there's two 1500 square foot suites that sleep for a large living area big patio that overlooks the golf course um and it's 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 going to take us to the next level so now we have now we can accommodate you know, between 65 and 70 guests, which is exactly what we want for an 18-hole golf course. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. All right, where's the closest Arby's? That's important yeah. when I'm thinking about a listener trip. Arby's. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Todd. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it's probably about 45 minutes. That's uh, that's not too far if no. you want it. When and you live I want in northern it. Michigan, you, uh, you either uh, you put a couple miles on your vehicle or you learn to live without a few things. <laughs> oh, you get some space out there, you do, do you? And it, I tell you what, I, uh, there's no way you're going to get this uh, northern Michigan or into a metropolitan area anytime soon, that's for sure. Oh, that's nice. It sounds very peaceful, very serene, and a lot of folks are, are looking for stuff exactly like that. Todd, congratulations on your spot on the list. Number nine, uh, Forest Dunes Golf Club sounds like a great place to spend some time. ForestDunesGolf.com is the website. Uh, great job this morning, and uh, you know, hopefully we get something together when we come up and see you. Brian, do so. Grab uh, grab your. I heard you talking about the Super Bowl, and <laughs> when you live in Michigan and you're a Lions fan, we don't have to worry about a Super Bowl anytime <laughs> soon. But through, get your father and your son in the car and some other buddies, and give me a shout. And right off I-75, we, we'll take good care of you. Straight up 75 road trip. Road trip is right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, Todd. All thank right. you so much for the time. Great job this morning. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, you got it. That's Todd Campbell. He's a general manager up there at Forest Dunes. Uh, sounds like they are, they're out there by themselves and he likes it and I like it. That sounds like a, a wonderful way to get, uh, get just disconnected from the world for a, a few days, whatever you need.